हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand a problem on unilateral Z transform. Here, we need to find the unilateral Z transform for the given signal. Here, x of n is given. For this, we need to find unilateral Z transform. In this sequence, this arrow mark specifies this value is for n is equal to zero. So, this value is for n is equal to one. This is for n is equal to two. This is for n is equal to three, and so on. So, in this sequence. x of n exists for n value greater than or equal to 0 that is we are having this sequence for non negative values of n that's why we can find unilateral z transform the unilateral z transform is given by x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n If we can observe the sequence, we are having the value of n from zero to five. So that's why we can write the summation as summation of n is equal to zero to five x of n z to the power of minus n. Now let us expand this sequence. We can write x of z is equal to if we put n is equal to zero in this equation, we will get x of zero. Z to the power of minus zero, it will be one. If you put n is equal to one, we'll get x of one z to the power of minus one plus n is equal to two, we'll get x of two z to the power of minus two. N is equal to three, we'll get x of three z to the power of minus three plus n is equal to four, we'll get x of four z to the power of minus four plus for n is equal to five, we'll get x of five z to the power of minus five. Now let us substitute the values of x of n in this equation. So x of zero is one. Let us substitute that value. Therefore, we can write x of z is equal to one plus x of one is two. So we can write two into z to the power of minus one plus x of two is five. So we can write Five into z to the power of minus two plus x of three is seven, so we can write seven into z to the power of minus three plus x of four is zero. We can write zero into z to the power of minus four plus x of five is one. We can write one into z to the power of minus. Five, so we can write x of z is equal to one plus two z inverse plus five z to the power of minus two plus seven z to the power of minus three plus z to the power of minus five. So this is the unilateral z transform for the given sequence. Now let us take the second sequence where x of n is given. In this sequence, if you can observe. So this is the value for n is equal to zero. This is for n is equal to one. This is for n is equal to two, and this is for n is equal to three. And here, this value is for n is equal to minus one, and this value is for n is equal to minus two. So while solving the problem, we need to neglect these negative values of n. So we need not consider these values. We need to consider. Only the positive values of n using the formula of uh, unilateral Z transform, we can write x of Z is equal to summation of n is equal to zero to three. So, if you can observe this sequence, we are having the value for x of n from n is equal to zero to three. So, we need not consider these negative values of n. X of n z to the power of minus n. So, if we expand this, we can write this as x of zero to z to the power of minus zero for n is equal to zero. Plus, for n is equal to one, we can write x of one z to the power of minus one. Plus, for n is equal to two, it is x of two z to the power of minus two. For n is equal to three, it is x of three z to the power of minus three. 
now let us substitute the values of uh, x of n in this equation for x of 0 the value is 5 into 1 plus x of 1 the value is 7 into z to the power of minus 1 plus x of 2 it is 0 into z to the power of minus 2 plus x of 3 it is 1 into z to the power of minus 3. Therefore, finally we can write x of z is equal to 5 plus 7 z inverse plus z to the power of minus 3. So, this is x of z for the given sequence x of n. Now, let us consider the third problem where x of n is given as alpha to the power of n u of n. For this sequence, we need to find the unilateral z transform. The unilateral z transform can be given as x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n. So, here x of n is alpha to the power of n u of n. So, we can substitute that value. So, u of n is ranging from 0 to infinity. So, that is why we will write uh, summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power of n z to the power of minus n. Now, we can write this as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity. So, if we take power of n as common, we can write alpha into z to the power of minus 1 whole to the power of n. We know the formula summation of n 1 to n 2 a to the power of n we can write it as a to the power of n 1 minus a to the power of n 2 plus 1 divided by 1 minus a. So, using this formula we can write x of z is equal to alpha z inverse whole to the power of 0 minus alpha z inverse whole to the power of infinity plus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse. So, here alpha z inverse whole to the power of 0 it will be 1 alpha z inverse whole to the power of infinity plus 1 it is 0. So, we can write x of z is equal to 1 minus 0 divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse. From this we can write x of z is equal to z divided by z minus alpha. So, this is the unilateral z transform for the given sequence x of n. Now, let us consider the next sequence. For this, let us find the unilateral z transform. Again, unilateral z transform can be given as y of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n. We can write y of z is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n minus 2 z to the power of minus n. From our previous discussion, we understood that summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n minus 2 z to the power of minus n. We can write it as x of minus 2 plus x of minus 1 z to the power of minus 1 plus z to the power of minus 2 x of z. Let us use this in above equation. Therefore, we can write y of z is equal to x of minus 2 plus x of minus 1 z to the power of minus 1 plus z to the power of minus 2 x of z. Also, in the problem they have given x of n is equal to alpha to the power of n u of n. For this, if we find x of z, so we will get z divided by z minus alpha which is solved in this problem. Also, we require x of minus 2. So, that is nothing but alpha to the power of minus 2 and x of minus 3 which will be equal to alpha to the power of minus 3. Now, let us use these three terms in above equation. We will get y of z is equal to alpha to the power of minus 2 plus alpha to the power of minus 1 z to the power of minus 1 plus z to the power of minus 2 z divided by z minus alpha. So, we can write y of z is equal to alpha to the power of minus 2 plus alpha to the power of minus 1 z inverse plus z divided by z square into z minus alpha. 
So, this is the unilateral Z transform for the given sequence Y of n. This is about problems on unilateral Z transform. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.